Hey everyone. In this video, I want to talk to you about something incredibly important. Nobody is going to save you. You must save yourself. This is something that I learned pretty early on in life and it originally made me kind of sad because I thought, well, how the hell can I save myself? And I was raised believing that other people could help you succeed a lot in life or help you improve drastically or help you heal, that sort of thing. And it was mostly because of the entertainment media I saw that gave me that impression, be it with movies and songs and other things like that, even books. But the thing is, nobody can save you except yourself. It's actually something that I now view as powerful, as empowering, because it means that you can actually help yourself and shape your life and your personality in the ways that you desire. It means that you are in control of your destiny, because you really are. You're in control of where you end up in life, whether or not you realize it. And if you don't realize it, it that's a bad thing, because that means you could end up somewhere you don't want to be. But if you do realize it, it's really empowering, because you can not only save yourself, you can decide where you want to end up in the future and then start working towards that and eventually end up there. But going back to this idea, because you are the only person who can save yourself, you must take accountability and responsibility for doing just that. Don't blame the world or your parents, the way you were raised, school, or any other things for where you are in life. If you feel like you're in a bad place, then realize that you're the only person who can pull yourself out of there. So stop blaming other entities. Don't even blame yourself. I'm not saying that. But realize that you can pull yourself out of there. And in some cases, you may actually be at fault for where you are in life. And in those cases, I would say, while blaming yourself isn't exactly helpful, you should take accountability for your actions getting you to that position and think about what you can do differently going forward to avoid situations like that in the future. I'm not saying this to make you feel bad about yourself. That's not my goal. My goal here is to tell you that you are in control of where you end up. So if you're somewhere you don't want to be, then realize that. And if you're at fault for being there, realize that as well and then start making changes. Start pivoting and working towards where you want to be. It's not helpful to beat yourself up over this, so don't do that. Instead, work on loving yourself and accepting yourself and knowing yourself so you can get to a place where you genuinely want to help yourself live and create a better life. You should want that. I mean, why wouldn't you? This is your one life to live and you're going to be living this life 100% of it in your own company. Don't you want what's best for yourself? If you don't, then I can tell you that's probably because you don't like yourself due to a lack of self-love and a lack of knowing your worth, a lack of accepting yourself, basically all the things I already mentioned. So work on those things and get to a place where you value yourself and you genuinely want what's best for yourself. You should be there. It's, it's basically the height for any of us to reach. We should all be in that place. It really kind of upsets me and annoys me that we're not trained to think this way because we really should be. I mean, we are solely accountable and responsible for the quality of our own lives. Sure, you can blame the outside world as much as you want and play the victim, but that's not helpful. That's not going to help you get to where you want to be and it's not going to improve your position at all. It may make you feel better for like five seconds because you're not taking accountability, but that's it. Afterwards, you're going to be left where you are with no solution, nothing to move forward with. So don't blame the outside world. Like I said, don't also blame yourself wholly if you're not completely responsible. There will be times where outside influences affect where we are. But even then, just realize that it's up to you to save yourself. Become empowered by that. Don't think of it as something bad. It means that you are in control of your life and your quality of life where you end up. That is awesome. It's empowering. Because if you want to become a doctor within the next 10 years, you can do it. The only thing holding you back would be yourself. You can do that. You could become a business owner within the next 10 years. 
You could buy a house. You could do all sorts of things. Basically, the only thing that will ever stop you is yourself. Because like I said, you are the one who must save yourself and work towards creating a life that you want. Nobody else can do that for you. Nobody can hold your hand and pull you in the direction you want to go. You have to do that. So, figure out where you want to be and then make a commitment to yourself and choose not to let yourself down. Get to a place where you love and accept yourself enough that the thought of you letting yourself down hurts more than the thought of you letting other people down or even other people letting you down. I've gotten to a place where the thought of me letting myself down would hurt me more than the whole world letting me down because that would be me saying that I can't even keep a promise to myself when I'm going to be living my whole life in my own company. That would mean I couldn't rely on myself. I, that thought scares the crap out of me. I would not want that because I am the only person who I will 100% be able to count and rely on in my whole life because I'm going to be there with me my entire life. And the same thing goes for you. So realize that you must save yourself and view that as an empowering thing. Take accountability and responsibility for making an awesome life for yourself. Anyway, I'll get off my soapbox. <laughs> I hope this video helped you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Arrivederci!